Previously on BBB Italia. Uh oh. Chris gets rogered by the Rosers. Is everything okay? The fine was 4,000 Swiss francs. So we decided to get dressed up, drown our sorrows, and lose even more money at the casino. Sponsored by Boot Bananas. What better way to relax before a hectic day of track action than to swing some golf bats at a swanky resort? Mm. Buongiorno. 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 Ciao belle, ciao belle. Ci batte. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, after our um, city slicking in the casino last night, uh, we thought we'd have a bit more of a peaceful uh, evening this evening where we've come to a beautiful driving range and golf resort and spa next to Mugello which you might be able to hear the bikes in the distance. We can, you probably won't actually, because... No, we just well, we can overlay some sound. Yeah. Let's do that right now. So we come to swing some golf bats at the driving range. Um, I used to play off six when I was a nipper, so... Uh, Did you? Yeah. Did you actually? Yeah, yeah. But didn't... I beat you last time we played, didn't we? Well, yeah. So uh, are you looking forward to tomorrow? I am, mate, yeah. Um, 2007 was the last time I was here on a Desmo Sedici, so... Pretty much the same now, then? Yeah. Just a little bit thinner. Slower. <laughs> what did you say you played off? <laughs> the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think the key is not to try and hit it too hard, isn't yeah, it? That's I, the one, yeah. I remember that. But then you just get so tempted. You think, oh, this is nice and nice and slow. And then you go, ah! I'm just going to hit, belt the bastard. Oh. Bastido. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Stop it. What? Oh, you're making me laugh. Okay. It's not golf etiquette, okay, mate. Okay, sorry, sorry. Neither of those shoes. Should we just go and get a beer? <laughs> oh, man. Eye on the ball. Eye on the ball. <laughs> After an early night and dreaming of Mugello, we woke at sunrise to some magnificent viewage. This was it. This was the battle crescendo. So then, morning. It's uh, as the sun rises over the Tuscan hills. 6.50. Yeah. And everyone in this hotel is about to be awoken by a Test us to If it starts. <laughs> By the way, you know your choke was on, which is maybe why it was popping. No, it's not. It, the, the choke is the is the um, it's not a, ch a traditional choke. It's a right. choke to help revs and lift the bu butterflies a bit, like right. your one, like that on the little cam. Yeah. Well, it's different to that, but yeah, that's yeah. much better, basically. No. Anyway, so um, Magello. We're about to this jump on the bikes now, and uh, this is the final showdown, and. For once in my life, I think I've got a chance of going faster than you today. So I'm going to be pushing hard. Fortunately, we've got track insurance. I was going to say, see you, see you in the gravel trap. <laughs> well, maybe if I got the insurance payment, I could pay that bloody fine. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, what a refreshing feeling to actually not feel hungover. <laughs> Here he is, this is Rossi getting yeah, out of his race van. I don't know what's going on there. He looks a bit strange, doesn't he? Wow, what a, what a lovely bit of countryside. Yeah. Actually, really quite a nice hotel, even yeah. though we had to pay twice for it. Let's not get muddled in the trivialities of today. It's actually quite nice just driving to a track without all the faff. Yeah. And uh, having uh, tyre warmers, stands. Look at that. Well, first of all, I think whatever happens today, we should really congratulate the bikes for being 
pretty bloody reliable so far, all the way down to Mugello. And what problems have we had? Apart from the odd sort of phantom not starting or, you know. Yeah, they've been pretty pretty good. There's not been one major hiccup. I mean, well, you kind of, ex uh, yeah, I was going to say you kind of expect it anyway, don't you? But Well, you do, particularly with, you know, well, that's exactly why we chose to do this trip. On exactly. Modern yeah. classic Italian bikes, because they do have a terrible reputation. But so far, it, it, it doesn't seem to be living up to that reputation. It seems to surpass it. And, oh, whatever, fuck it, let's just go. Morning, hikers. Morning, babes. Oh, dear. Well, I feel horrendous. I need a poo. I need a poo. Really, I mean, I had not have a poo at the hotel, which is the first time I haven't had a poo at the hotel all, all trip so far. It's put me out of sync a bit. Mm. At least the petrol station man thinks the MV's better. <laughs> yeah. Well oh, so, so, so now, just because oh, you're such an arrogant fucker, aren't you? <laughs> we're, go, we're going to Mugello. Go in Romania, in this place. Yeah. Transvagation. Transvagation. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Ciao. So friendly. That's not the first Romanian we've met. I think today's the day the MV clinches the crown. What, just by one fast lap? Deluded, mate. What, and Deluded. winning the whole trip all the way down here, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's, how, that's how it's worked, yeah. 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 Oh, I'm, I'm kind of slightly sick with excitement, I think. Giddy with excitement. Do you reckon the toilets are nice here? Uh, well, from the last time I was here, they're long drop. Oh, no way. Yeah. Buongiorno, Magello. Tutti fatti. Tottolini, 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 Tottolini. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. No, 5 euro. What? For why? For, for what? Oh, ticket. Yeah. Ingresso 5 euro a persona. We're, we're racing today. Si. What the fuck is that? You got any euros? No. I haven't got any euro. Everyone's on the bloody fiddle, aren't they? Like, we just spent 500 quid to fucking come here. We've got to pay 10 quid to get in. For fuck's sake. H have you ever heard of such ridiculousness? Oh, city tax here, fucking... Just put it on the price of the fucking ticket. Fucking five euros. Anyway, let's put that anyway. sadness behind us. Five euros to take a shit in a hole. <laughs> right. Toilet. Yeah, definitely. While Al was having a poo, I got down to real business and started playing with the F4 suspension in readiness for battle. I'm sure Ken's probably going to have to come off, but what did we say in um, that market? The penalties for not having this on the bike are going to be extreme, and mine stayed on here the whole time, so... Yeah. So... After how many years of civilization, Magello thinks that that is perfectly acceptable to have a morning poo. Is that why you've got beads of sweat on, yeah. your, on your head? Because you had to do the squats. Mate, it was horrendous. It was the most <laughs> horrific poos I've ever had. <laughs> Basically, I think what we've done is entered a race. Uh, not on purpose, but. Um, we just thought it was a track day, a chrono day, as it's called in the UK, and uh, we've uh, we've inadvertently entered a race. And there's some serious, serious, <laughs> serious <laughs> people here. <laughs> oh man! And the uh, the best joke of the day goes to uh, Al for signing me on. AIDS, Chris. We set about our final preparations for the track battle. A good once over of the bikes and applying our race numbers almost made it look like we knew what we were doing, instead of desperately trying to fit in with the Italian superbike racers. Oh, the hallowed pit lane. <laughs> oh my god, they're fast. <laughs> uh, uh.
first session done? Oh yeah, how'd you like it? Amazing, amazing. If, if you haven't been to this track before, just get on your old shitty Italian bike and ride it down here because it's amazing. And it would be amazing on anything. It would be, yeah. I mean, it's just so flowing and easy and it's quite hard to learn, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, I wouldn't say it's easy. As in, as in easy, as in flowing, yeah, nice, fast, yeah. smooth. It's yeah. not like, uh, 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 uh yeah. it's, it's really nice. Even the chicanes are not really chicanes. They're kind of... Yeah, flick flacks. Yeah, yeah. Give the dog a bone. How's your bike feeling? Uh, pretty good, actually. I've sort of dialed in the suspension a little bit, stiffened it up. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, but that's what people do. Just wind they? it in. Yeah. Yeah. Wind your neck in. I mean, the pace of that MV. Oh. It is. It's scary. Yeah. It's, it's good, scary. It? It's good. It's well, good. We, we do have um, C aids on the uh, timing sheet as being four tenths up on the yeah. MV, uh, on yeah. the on the nine 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 at the moment. So work to do. Yeah. Work off to do us. Well, I've got. A, I'm going to do some suspension tweaks now, so I need to uh, sort. It's just so far, uh, so soft. So uh, yeah. yeah. Soft and bouncy. That's how I like no them. bueno. No bella. I've no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to wind it in. Hope for a bit more feeling. Uh, I'd also like, as we're talking about forks and stuff, if you'd like to come over here. So, as far as I'm aware, my research, this motorcycle was the first ever bike to have independent adjustable compression and rebound in the different forks. And this is. 10 years ago, so, and now that's what everyone's doing. So it's, it's, it's a good technologically advanced machine. So, yeah, so I only have to do one clicker. He has to do them both and fanny around. Ding, ding, round two. I think we're the only Roblox here. Was, uh, evident. <laughs> that was evident. Yeah, uh, I think there's work to do in the Ducati camp. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm. Just, I can't get past 600. So that gives you some idea of um, how slow the bike is. I'm more than happy, like on the limit with my corner speed as well. So I've got to be. I've got to be some serious changes afoot. The spanners are coming out. The spanners are out. Yeah. Because on the other hand, I felt really good. Yeah. Really good. And and the power of it down the straight. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm wrestling with R1s and ZS10Rs. Oh. oh dear. That's good timing. That's what we don't want to happen. No. Um, but anyway, so we've got a chrono in there, so Sam knows the times. Right, eight. 2.13. 2.13. 2.981. Fagan. 2.14. Oh, it's not a spanky, Oh, it's not Jen. that bad. Oh, oh must, must have been a yellow flag. <laughs> 0.4 a second. Oh, well, that's, oh OK. I, I thought it'd be seconds. Half a second. I, it's not, it's 0.4, mate. It's 0.4 of a second. But you never know. Tra and, and that is the other thing. There is a lot of traffic here. Yeah. So th th those lap times are not really reflective, but generally, it's way faster. Yeah. Yeah. So. I've also developed a bit of an oil leak. I've got to be a bit careful about what, what I do and keep checking the level and I'll probably have to put some more in after this session, so. Should have bought an MV? No. Thanks. Who would have thought it? <laughs> Who would have thought it? So we've got another session oh. now before lunch. Yeah. And that, the last session will determine our place for the next, uh, the next group. Super so pole. We get a super pole session and then we get a race afterwards, so. Yeah, if we're going to take if, part in it, because yeah. we don't, we're not insurance-wise covered for racing. We offer the track day, but not for racing. The um, one little issue I've developed is when you're hanging off the bike, you push this fairing and it melts on the exhaust, which is a bit annoying. But a good sign that no one else has done a track day on it. 
But yeah, so we just dropped the tyre pressures in the S21s, so that should give yeah, us a bit a more grip. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, because yours is 46? It went up to 48, yeah. 48. Uh, mine was at 42, so um, our mate Gaz from Bridgestone reckons we should be running 30 rear, 32 hot. So that, that should give us more grip, essentially. Yeah, it's a bit squirmy. It's a bit squirmy. It's so hot, it's so hot, it as you can hot, tell. Yeah. But brakes are doing really well. Glad we put the new EBC pads in. All good. Bring it on. So, uh, what a what a day! It's just this Moto Three bike goes over there. Yeah, it's it's been. I mean, this circuit is. It's an. It's, it's, I think it's still it, my favourite circuit. Yeah, it is amazing. It's so good. It is amazing. I've loved it. I've loved it. I've loved everything about it except um, the, the lap times. Apart from your lap times. Apart from yeah. lap times. Well, I'm not going to lie. It's been a comprehensive rogering. Yeah, he's very eggy. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, after we had that little race in the Black Forest, I knew that the MV was faster than I thought it was going to be, but I didn't know it was going to be this fast. I mean, it's, you know, it's 15 miles an hour difference. Yeah. And, well, as we'll get onto in a minute, the lap time, you know, I was riding, I'm not going to lie, I was riding way beyond my comfort zone just to be even, even near you, you know, so. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's not good news. It's not good news. And let's just point out that you've done what ten years of superbike paddock in the racing field here in and out. Uh, yeah, and then that's why I was confident going in <laughs> that I'd still have enough pace on that, but no way near. So if you were on that bike, I think it would uh, well, it would have gone even faster, obviously. So well, let's just get the lap times out of the way. So what was Ducati the Ducati did a two twelve point eight. And the MV, with chunky chops on it here, did a 210.5. So that's just, I mean, that's pretty much two and a half seconds. That is... 2.3. Yeah. <laughs> 2.3 seconds. 2.3. Yeah. Every tenth counts. But, but that, is, that is pretty comprehensive. And then yeah. if we go into best sectors, yeah. you actually did a 210 dead. Yeah which is pretty good considering the guys next to us in the superbike class were doing two fives. And I've got to say, you know, let's just, let's just generalise it for a minute. We come here to a chrono day in Mugello. There's brand new S1000 RLs, Panigale V4, ZX10, every superbike imaginable out there. And these two, even the Ducati, these two put up a proper fight. Absolutely. On, on the, S21 <laughs> on road the tires. On the Fixstone S21 road tires, we had no tire warmers. You know, within a lap we were knee down and you know, I tell you what, if you were that this lot, Giovanni and um, Bed, Frankie, Bed, Beppe. Beppe, I'd go home, I'd quit if I were you, because you got royally rogered by, that bike's 15 years old. That bike's 10 years old. Honestly, I've, I'm flabbergasted with it, and all of its um, kind of crapness on the road, and all of its pain, and all of its difficulty to ride, just absolutely disappears yeah. when you're on it. Like, it is, a, it is actually a proper race bike. You, you don't really think it's just a tarty thing. Actually, at pace, it 
completely comes alive and everything feels fantastic. Like, I mean, I could see you struggling. I, yeah. And I, I was just, it's like, well, I'm gonna do them, I'm off, see you later. I mean, you know, in the middle of the corner, it feels absolutely fantastic. In the middle of a corner, absolutely fantastic. The moment you get off, off the brakes and push in the front, you know, it's not, it's not fantastic. But, you know, I know the top speed of that bike is ridiculous. I know, you know, I knew, always knew that it'd be, it would be tough there, but it's not just the, you know, your archetypal V-twin grunt coming out of corners. That smashes it. it did, didn't it? it? Smashes it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep there. <laughs> And let's not even talk about the little minor oil leak you've developed today as well. No, but I mean, I'm hoping that's just a little minor blip as we are, you know, you are, it is hard track for a, for a bike, isn't yeah. it? So. And I mean, we should also mention, we have also been riding with preservation in mind. Exactly. Because yeah. it, it's a lot of abuse to give these bikes, which are probably, I mean, yours has probably been on track for years, but it's, it's a lot of abuse and um, they're not quite ready for it. No. But and so every time you go into the red line, I'm, I'm like, oh, 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 and I don't want to blip it and rev it too hard. You know, some modern bikes like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can absolutely give it some and not have to worry about Whereas it. Whereas this, I, I was, ca I cared for it an awful lot. Which brings us to the point, actually, it's a good point because, you know, we were umming and ahhing about whether to race or not. Yeah. And we had a seven lap race lined up, but our insurance doesn't cover that for racing. So ultimately we have over 12,000 pounds of company assets set right here. Yeah. And for us to just put that in a gravel trap at Arabiata is... And I know, I know everyone thinks we're loaded and we have all this you know, money to go and buy bikes and stuff. It's, it genuinely is you know, hard work, so... Well, especially after... Expensive. Well, yeah, especially after that, that whopping fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, 4,000 euros is, uh, is extreme. Yeah. I still haven't quite got over it, to be honest. But anyway. Sorry I mentioned it. So this is where uh, the 999 should be and up here, all the way up here, all the way up here, keep going, keep going, keep going, that is where the MV should be. Brakes on this have been fantastic. But like, honestly, there's a little bit after the end of the, the super fast one we were in. There was a little bit of fade, but it was still there, and I didn't really have any issues with it. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's been fantastic. Um, power is insane. Again, it's just getting on the power. It still has that horrible twitch, but you kind of get used to it, and uh, you ride around it. And it's actually much better at high RPM. That's a good point, actually. You did 270 clicks? 274. 274? Yeah. And I was 244. Yeah. And that, I don't know where the radar is. It must be in just into the braking zone. Well, we're probably braking. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. But it's been, uh, it's been epic. It's been devastating. Do you want to know something else even more devastating? And I think you will be really upset with this. No. You know when we left Calais? when we first got on the bikes. Yeah. Can you see that little sticker underneath your... Oh, for uh... fuck's sake. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it's been on there since Calais. <laughs> right. Hey, back. Uh... It's almost melted itself. <laughs> yeah, I have a present for Jello. Of all the places, I mean, you know, we, we did the, the mountain pass stuff briefly, and we did the, uh, the, the tighter stuff on the roads. That looked horrible, it felt horrible, and I'd gain yards on here with that. Yeah. Come here, this little puppy here, on the slow stuff, it was horrible. I'm not going to lie, it was horrible. Turn one. Well, all the tight stuff. All the tight apexes, that lost a lot of time. And, but through the fast stuff, through the fast chicanes and the fast sweepers like here, I felt like I could run with all the guys in slicks. So it's a bit of a, it was just, it was a, everything about this day has been a surprise. Yeah. And for all the wrong reasons. 
on the last session we did have a little bit of a we have a ding dong, a bit yeah. of a ding dong. <laughs> and I was like, no, he's not coming fast. There's no way. No, no. Uh, Are you ready to admit defeat yet? No way. Considering it's faster everywhere. Um, it's more reliable. Well, that's you know. Well, hang on. You have to pull into the pits because your brand new 200 pound master cylinder was no. giving no, fade. No, 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 no. You've got that, an oil that has leak. Nothing to do with it. That the reason I pulled in is because the lever needed adjusting. Okay. Because you know that's okay. just, that's irrelevant. Okay. Yes, yeah, okay. so I've got a bit of an oil smear, but you know, every, what bike doesn't leak? Yeah, it's fixed though, isn't it? Well, we'll see. It's just better everywhere. I'm sorry. I, I honestly can't. I, I'm more. I'm even. I am surprised with how good this is doing. Yeah. I really am, and it it feels solid still, and I'm, I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Gearbox but, is a bit clunky, but I think they're, they're always like that, aren't they? They're yeah, just, that's exactly. They are. But I'll leave you on this note. Go on. Regardless of anything, I'd still buy that. Well, you're a mug. And I think actually the viewers, even the ones that started off oh nine 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 decay, hopefully I think. They would be turning to this going, actually, do you know what? It's pretty legit. To, to keep up with S1000 RRs, it, it, it's intense. It's amazing. Amazing. Whereas I had struggle, I had big struggles trying to keep up with R6s Me. and Honda CBR600 RRs. And, you know, I, just about in a slipstream, I was happy with them. And then it would be like you and S1000 RRs coming like I was still still. It's just, I'm, I am. But yeah, I mean, is there an area where that is better than that? Where the 999 is better than? I don't think it is. Yeah. It's just that I'm more of a pussy than you because you're a super white racer. I felt like a hero today with number plates on. Yeah, like, yeah. How, yeah. how embarrassing must it be when you're on a slick bike with everything on it? This is a stock exhaust system as well. It's stock, bone stock. And then some knobber from England comes past with his wobbly number plate. Anyway, anyway, enough um, tromboning myself <laughs> because I've, I've, I, I'm pumped. I am pumped. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's the first track day I've ever been faster than you at. We've got to be careful actually because I don't think we'll get your head through the hotel door later on. Probably not. I chose the best bike. Simple as that. Is there anywhere that you think it's better than that? Throttle response? Yeah. I'll give you that. And noise. Noise? I'll give you that. But that is aftermarket, but anyway. I'll Suspension? Give you that. No, I would say yeah. no way. You haven't ridden it, mate. Huh? You haven't ridden it. If I had, and, I, and I'll have my hands up, I should have done this before we left for England. Because, you know, I didn't realise that Magello was the be all and end all. But that shock, I would have taken out and I would have put ride height on it because that would have transformed the, the, the handling. And I should, yeah, hands up. Maybe you I, didn't. Was, I didn't, exactly. So the suspension's not better then? No, the suspension is better. It's just way more plush. Just it's way more plush than that. No, it's not. That, 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 that is, I don't, yeah. I think anyone who's ridden both will go, that Olin's is, yes, it's very okay, soft. Okay. It's very soft. Okay. It's very just. It's very soft, but it's almost two stage. It's almost, you know, there's not enough control in the stroke compared to that. But round here, and this may be chassis, but I can't yeah. believe I'm saying that, because that is a better chassis. It's better, it's quicker, it's got more grip. Yeah. It's better, yeah. so the suspension is better. You can't, I, I, you can't argue it, mate, I'm sorry. Okay. You can't. Okay. It's quicker in every sector. Because okay. it's got more power. Yeah, but it's more weight as well to get into the corner, and it's, it's better. No, no. <sighs> you can't stand losing, can you? You really can't. You're such a bad loser. <laughs> Come on, be a gentleman. What, I've just said, you deserved it, mate. What, I didn't, on, be I didn't a gentleman, it. be I a said. gentleman. Come on. Look. Oh. Coming up in the next episode, it's back to the factories as we return our gallant steeds to their homelands and unearth a few surprises. <laughs>